The third thing I've learned from my dad that I've learned from Father God is that my dad released me. It says in Ephesians 6, verse 4, Fathers, do not exasperate or irritate your children. Instead, bring them up in the training and instruction of the Lord. Did you know that releasing someone takes trust? It takes trust. I'm going to tell you right now, as a parent, I'm learning to walk through that with my oldest. He's got four years left with me, and I'm like, oh, no. No, 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 no. I'm going to tell you right now, me and God, we're, yeah, already. My son has already come to me and said, I would like to finish high school in three years. And I'm like, absolutely not. It's not even on the table. I get you for four, and I'm keeping you for those four. And then we'll talk about college you may be living here and commuting. Because it is a hard thing to trust. It's hard. And releasing someone takes trust. At the age of 15, I would come to my dad and I'd say, Dad, I want to go on a missions trip. It's only three or four days long. It's just across the border to Mexico. Um, Our whole youth group's going. And so um, can you just sign this paper? I'd love to go. And, you know, for my dad, it was okay to let me do that. It was only four days. It was just across the border. And a little while after that, maybe two years later, I said, okay, Dad, now I actually want to go on an airplane. Remember, I don't even know at that point, really, if we as a family have flown anywhere. And so my dad's like, well, where are you going to go? And I was like, well, I'm going to go to another country. And he's like, what? I was like, yeah, I need a passport at this point, and um, I'm going to go for like two weeks. But don't worry, I'm going to be okay. He just signed this paper. And then I know my dad would wait for a while, and then he'd sign the paper and give it to me. He never once expressed a concern or audibly told me how he was feeling. And then a couple years later, I'm like, Dad, actually, I'm going to move to Paraguay. (laughs) And I just wanted to let you know, I'm going to be out of communication for a while, because this is pre-cell phone and pre-email. And so when I get down there, I'll try to find a way to call you. I don't know how much it's going to cost, but I will call you. And um, I just want to let you know that that's what I'm going to do. And as I look back right now, and I think in my 19, 20, 21 early 20 ages, what was my dad thinking? (laughs) Letting me get on those planes. I sat there thinking, my dad, I would just, he would just drop me off. This is when you could go all the way to the gate. He'd just hug me, kind of see a tear. I'm getting on the plane, this is awesome. By myself, get on a plane. I remember landing in Brazil. I didn't speak Portuguese. I had no idea. Just the lady walked me to the next gate and sat me there and said, watch the clock. No way to call my dad to tell him I was sitting in Brazil. He couldn't even come get me because he didn't have a passport. And I would get to Paraguay, and then a day after I was there, I'd already been there 24 hours. Then I would call him on the delayed call for like three to five seconds. Dad. And then I'm already talking as he's already talking to me, and we couldn't hear what was going on. And I'm sitting there thinking, was my dad crazy? He let me go? And he never told me his fears, ever. He just released me. He just let me go. My dad just never held me back from doing things. It says in Jeremiah 17, verse 7 and 8, But blessed is the one who trusts in the Lord, whose confidence is in him. They will be like a tree planted by the water that sends out its roots by the stream. It does not fear when heat comes. Its leaves are always green. It has no worries in a year of drought and never fails to bear fruit. Trusting in the Lord and releasing 